I have two different recipes today. And we're using giant cups because Mama doesn't want to. Are these the same recipe, just with coffee and tea? Right. So it's latte. Versus latte. Sounds like a uh, lawsuit. Latte versus latte. Which will win? So we've got a medium roast coffee. And the new meat Chinese breakfast. And we're going to make, be making it in these tiny little cups so you can see. And so that Mama doesn't have to drink the entire thing. And these big cups because I actually want to drink something. Okay. So the coffee that we chose is just something we picked up in a store. If we can't find that, we'll link something similar. Global Vistas Hawaii Fresh Ground Coffee. Mm-hmm. Kona. So right. Hawaiian coffee is supposed to be really good. So, first thing we're going to do is start by making It actually the smells tea good. And coffee. It, it really smells so good. So for the coffee, we're going to be grabbing... One. Two tablespoons of coffee. Now, when I do decide to do coffee, just, you know, as a tea substitute, I do far less than it says, but that's how much it says to use. Mm -hmm. So Emma's going by the recipe here for some reason. All right, and then, hang on, we're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. Um, also into, I hope mm, I Mmm, coffee spill. That. Nope. Clean I up on it. aisle two. It's fine, I sealed it. Okay. okay. So also into here, we're going to just grab this, and we're going to add a half oh. a teaspoon monk Let's fruit sugar. Let's smell coffee. She's adding monk fruit sugar. We'll link that below too. What I do with coffee is make bulletproof coffee, which actually has MCT oil and butter in it. And I can tolerate that. All right, so we've got the coffee brewing. So now we can start on the tea. I'm just gonna move the coffee over to here. All right, so for the tea, we have little bags of Numi Chinese breakfast. Numi Chinese breakfast is very tasty black tea. Breakfast teas tend to be stronger. So they can handle things like cream and sugar. Also, a side note, I do have some whipped cream for the top here that is made of just some normal whipping cream and some vanilla extract. It's really good. She whipped um, the cream. What did you whip it with? I whipped the cream in with the vanilla with our little um, frothing thingy. Not that, but the one on the... The Ninja Tea yeah, and that. Coffee Maker has that. a frother attached to it. We'll link that too. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water for you. And then the rest of the water shall go to my tea. Also into here, we are still going to add the half a teaspoon sugar to mine. But since Mama has a much tinier thing, we're going to add a fourth of a teaspoon to hers. And we're not going to fill it all the way. You can actually see the tea in the clear one. And here's the coffee for comparison. Yes. We have a review of the Chinese breakfast, which we'll link up there for you. Mm -hmm. It's good. We like it. Mmm. -hmm. Got that nice mm. black tea smell that to me reminds me of, I don't know, hay and bandages. <clears throat> I don't know. All right. So how are you going to latte this? Well, we can start with the coffee because the coffee is now ready. All right. Woo. I don't fun, actually fun. tell exactly when. I just kind of eyeball it, um, which has worked out for me so far. We're going to go ahead. The most fun you can have with a coffee press is the pressing part. All the beans go down and the water comes up. There you go. Genuine medium roast coffee. coffee. For me, the lighter the better. Actually, white coffee isn't bad because it just tastes like peanuts. Yeah, I kind of don't like white coffee. So there you go. Ooh, boy. Coffee. <clears throat> ah. Tea. And you don't trap your tea under your computer. Yeah. Coffee and tea. All right. So what we're going to do here to latteify it. Latteifying it. Is we're going to add cream. And I don't measure this. I just kind of Emma doesn't add measure. enough 
that it looks coffee-ish. Like. It's kind of about to hear this kind of color. And we can go ahead and take our tea bags out. Alrighty. I even have a bowl for them. Yes, Blue Willow. I'm very organized today. And we're adding the cream. Okay. So far, it's tea and coffee with cream. Does that make a latte? Well, here's where it gets interesting. Let me sprinkle more of monk fruit sugar. Monk fruit sugar. And then um, I'm going to make it vanilla lattes. So let's see which one is the tinier one. Now, didn't you say you had added vanilla to the cream that you whipped? Yes. But we're also going to add an eighth of a teaspoon cream or vanilla to the tiny ones and a fourth of a teaspoon vanilla to the big ones. Now, how does this differ from the London Fog that you made once? Because London Fog is normally made with Earl Grey. I was actually re-watching ah. that video. Mm -hmm. um, See and it here. Before you go and watch that video, I want you to notice a few things that I did wrong. Uh-oh. Um, number one... Please whip in the vanilla with the cream. Originally, don't mix it in. That'll just make your cream really runny. Ooh, it's tasty, though. Not taste as good. Well, it could have been better. Um, also, use English breakfast. Don't skimp out and um, use... Um, or use Earl Grey. Don't use English breakfast. But then you're going to have bergamot in it. That's the whole point. That's what makes it Earl Grey. I don't like bergamot. Um, and also... Make sure you add enough cream. So basically, this is the London Flog, but not with Earl Grey. Pretty much. Okay. Okay. We're going to smell it here. Mm. No. We're not. Oh, we haven't added the whip. Well, if I smell it, I'll get it on my nose. Fine. Okay. I'm smelling the coffee. That's the tea. Oh, this is the tea. Yes. It's lovely. Where's the coffee? Right there. Okay. I'll smell that. It smells burnt. Because <laughs> all coffee smells burnt, except white coffee. It kind of looks like marshmallow fluff, doesn't it? Oh, it's sort of running in there, isn't it? Right. So that's just tea whipped with vanilla. Cream. Cream. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's just cream whipped with vanilla. Right. But it looks like a marshmallow. It kind of does, yes. It's marshmallowy. All right. Coffee first. Okay. Oh, smell like vanilla. Tastes like coffee. <laughs> Watch to be careful that you don't get a mustache. <laughs> I would recommend a little bit more sugar, though. Mm. I'm sure it's better with more sugar. I would say that adding latte to your coffee makes it less yucky. Therefore, that is a success. Okay. Okay. And now we shall try the tea. The tea. Ooh. Even though I've gained like a sense of recognition that okay, coffee is fine. This is good. So the tea wins. Tea with cream is yummy. What about tea with vanilla cream? Also yummy. Chinese breakfast is really great on its own. Mm -hmm. I think I would choose a plainer black tea mm -hmm. for this. Scottish breakfast, which is just Finish Pure, your strong. Coffee. Finish drinking your coffee. What would happen if I mixed the two? You would regret it. I would regret it. Or you'd really like it. Hmm. One of the two. You like my cute little cups? Yes, we made a video on them. They're adorable. They're so tiny. Hmm. Not bad. Would you like one? Sure. Ha, you didn't think I'd make it, did you? Sit down. There you go. Yeah, it uh, 
evens out the coffee, which is a good thing. Okay, and what I'm getting on my tongue is bitterness. Very much. Because coffee is bitter. And this tea is kind of bitter, too. This particular tea, yes, is a little bit bitter. But that's desirable because bitterness helps you digest things. And now we shall taste it. Not bad. I'd say the tea it, the, the, one. The tea cancels out the coffee. Yes. So basically it's hot cream, which is, you know, a good thing. So what should they do at home? Um, well, it depends on if you like coffee or tea, but if you add enough sugar, you, you'd like the coffee one either way. <laughs> um, Pick the one you like better and put cream in it. I think with the tea one, you would have to add less sugar than the, with the coffee one. Definitely. Because I think the point of a latte is to ha kind of have it be a bit more sweet. So you don't have to add near as much sugar to the tea, but for the coffee, you have to add a little bit more. All right, so there you go. And until we see you again, make sure to make time for tea in a good book. <laughs>